this tool I'm about to show you turns all of your ideas into full blog content on autopilot. Just provide a keyword or item, a directional prompt, and it does the rest. It's any content, anytime. This is just one example. It generated a New England baked haddock recipe, and then it auto posted it to my Medium blog. All right, let me show you how to do it. First, head on over to youraiagent.com. Your AI Agent is a comprehensive business suite of AI agents. This is a web app that I've built. Enter your name, email address, password, and then click sign up. It's going to land you onto the settings page, and you're gonna to need to connect your website. We offer multiple integrations right now. You can connect to Blogger, Ghost.org, Hashnode, Medium.com, Shopify, Webflow, WordPress.com, or WordPress.org. This custom content creator will post to all website connections. In this example, I'm going to generate a recipe. And for this, I probably wouldn't connect to Hashnode. Hashnode is more for developers, but this is a new integration and I wanna show you guys how to connect to that platform. Let's click on this tab. First, we need to name our integration. I'm gonna call it My Hashnode Blog. Now we need a publication ID. To find that on your main Hashnode dashboard, you can scroll down, you'll see your blogs, click into that dashboard, and then the publication ID is in the URL. It's this section right here, so copy it, and then paste it here. Next, we need an access token. Back on Hashnode, click on your profile, and then account settings, then developer on the left side, then click to generate a new token, click to view, copy that token, and then paste it into the input box like so. Now click connect. If everything is good, you're gonna get a notification. This notification says your Hashnode blog has been connected. We can click okay. It takes us back to the settings page. And if I scroll down, I see my new connection right here. Then I can go to home. The custom content agent I'm looking for is right at the bottom. I'm separating it from the other agents because it is custom. I don't control any of the outputs. It's all on you and your prompting. For these other agents, let's say auto blogging, I generate each piece of the article individually and then piece them together at the end like a puzzle. So we get a nice structured output each time, one that you can rely on and one that can give you a high quality result. But if you want much more control, I'm opening that option up. So let's click on the custom content agent. It brings us to the agent page and now we can start setting up the workflow. First off, this AI agent makes content creation effortless by generating personalized outputs tailored to your unique prompts and provided items. I'll talk about what items means in a bit. Whether you're crafting recipes, reviews, or creative stories, the agent adapts completely to your input, giving you total control over the structure and style of the content. First, let's set our content scheduling. I want this to post every six hours. I want it to start immediately, and I want it published right to the Hashnode blog. Next, we need to write a title prompt. Your title is a descriptive title that sets the focus of the content to be generated. This will guide the agent in creating content aligned with your vision. We wanna keep this clear and concise, max 250 characters, and the data included is item. It's the items we're gonna put down here. I start you with a basic prompt that you can edit to meet your specific needs. I just say create a title that reflects the provided item, making it enticing and descriptive. Ensure it aligns with the content's purpose and appeals to readers interested in this topic. Okay, next we have the item list. You can also think of this as a keyword list or a topic list or a title list. You input multiple different items into this input box and then the AI will go through each of them combined with your title prompt and agent prompt and write content around that item. The placeholder shows a bunch of examples like New England Baked Haddock Recipe that I showed you earlier, Horror Short Story, Action Movie Script, Top 40 Music Review. The possibilities here are endless. If you don't have any items in mind, 
You can also generate items with AI. Let's toggle this on. In this input box, I'm going to write haddock recipes. It's a type of fish. Then I'm going to click get items and the AI is going to fill this input box with dozens and dozens of different haddock recipes. We have baked haddock with lemon butter, blackened haddock tacos, haddock chowder, grilled haddock with herbs. So if I was a recipe website specializing in fish recipes, the AI would write content, in this case recipe articles, for each of these items in the list. There looks to be about 60 here. So by the end of the content generation, it would have written 60 recipe articles. This is a good place to start. I can always add more or remove them. Next, we have the agent prompt. These are top level instructions describing what the agent is supposed to do and how it should generally behave and respond. It's a max of 2000 characters. The data that is included is the title and the items selected above. I start you off with a basic prompt. You get a max of 2000 characters. So write anything into this prompt. I know there's a lot of people out there that have perfected their prompts and they want to use them with your AI agent. This is how to do it. In my case, I do want to write SEO optimized articles, but I want them to be recipe articles. So I'm going to add that keyword right into this prompt. But if I were writing movie scripts, short stories, review articles, lyric articles, whatever, I would make sure to include that in here. I would talk about my writing style, my brand's voice, anything that can help the AI produce the content that you want to create. The next option is the image prompt. You can toggle this off if you do not want to include a cover image in your article. It looks like this, but I'm going to keep it on. Again, I start you off with a basic image prompt, but you can change it to get the visual aesthetic that you're looking for. The next option is boilerplate text. Boilerplate text is text that goes at the end of each article, no matter what the article is about. It can be your company details, your contact info, social media links, anything that you want consistent across all of your outputs. For example, head on over to myfavoriterecipes.com for more recipes. And then let's copy this text. We're going to hyperlink it to that website. I don't own this. But if I did, I would do the boilerplate text like this. And then lastly, we have categories and tags. For hash nodes specifically, you can input up to 15 tags. These tag your post to help it get it discovered. I'm going to write recipes, haddock, fish meals, and foodie. Now I can click start agent. It takes me to the workflows page where I can see my newest custom workflow at my chosen interval. I can click in to see more details where I can change my content scheduling, my title prompt, add or remove items from the list, update my agent prompt, image prompt, boilerplate text, or change the categories and tags. At the top of this pop-up, I can see my upcoming post and then the history of all past generations. Here we see savor the flavors, perfectly baked haddock with zesty lemon butter. This is my hash node slug. Some websites don't provide us with a link through the API. If this was Medium, WordPress, Shopify, or Webflow, we'd be able to get a link. But for hash node, I have to go to articles and drafts, go to my published articles. Let's click on it. And here is our article, a very beautiful cover image of this haddock recipe. It's definitely something I would eat. And it's followed by the ingredients, step-by-step -step instructions, some cooking tips, a conclusion. It added some additional resources with my boilerplate text at the end. If you want to try this custom content AI agent for yourself, I'll leave a link to youraiagent.com in the description below. If you want to learn how to build your own AI agents and turn it into a profitable web app, check out my online course, How to Build a Custom AI App. I'll leave a link to this in the description as well. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both have been catered to your personal YouTube watch history. Give one of them a click for me, give it a watch, and I'll see you in there. Peace.